all of me. What? Aren't this is Fafa Berry written? Is it Equin Herbs of Fafa Berry reading? Today, I'm going to read Prairie Chicken Little, written by Jackie Mintz Hopkins, illustrated by Henry Cole. <laughs> Out of the grasslands, hands where bison roam, Mary McBlicken, the prairie chick, was rich scratching for her breakfast when all of a sudden she heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Oh no! she exclaimed. A stampede's are coming! I need a high tail back up to the ranch. I tail it back to the ranch and tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan. They don't know what to do. So away Mary ran, flickety splickety, as fast as her little prairie legs could carry her. <laughs> On her way to the ranch, and Mary came upon Jeffrey Snog, the par prairie dog, who was soaking up some sunshine. Good morning to you, barked Jeffrey. No time for good mornings, warned Mary. A stampede's are coming. Huh? How do you know? Oh, this is so... Asked, asked Jeffrey. I hear a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said Jeffrey. Come with me to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hit the trail, barked Jeffrey. And away they, the pair ran lickety-splickety toward the ranch. So they met you, Rabbit the Jackrabbit, who was sniffling off the sweet grass. Where are, you, where are you two going in such a hurry? He asked. A step, a step, pads are coming! They said, Mary, we're heading to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan. How do you know this is so? asked Bew. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said Bew. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hit the trail, barked Jeffrey. <laughs> Let's hit, sorry, sorry. Let's hop to it then, said Bew. And they lit off across the prairie and looked at a spooky toward the ranch. Before long, the trio came across as June sparked the metal arc, who was building her nest in the tall prairie grass. What's going on? asked, asked June. A stampede are coming! Uh, they coursed the trio. How do you know this is so? asked June. I hear a rumbling, and a grumbling, and a tumbling. I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said June. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Hey, what are we waiting for? chirped June. And away they all flew, lickety splitty toward the ranch. It wasn't long before Slim Brody, the sly coyote, spotted them making their way across the prairie. Well, hello there, my fine fitter and furry friends. What's the big rush? A stampede are coming! We're heading to the land to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, said Mary. It's your lucky day, said Slim. I just happen to know a shortcut. He had no intention of taking them to the ranch. Instead, he led them across the plain, over a hill, through a pass, around the bend, around the bend, and down a gully to the entrance of his den. What's this? Walked Mary. This, snarled Slim, is the passage to the shortcut. He splashed a two feet, we smiled and closed in on Mary and McFlicken and the others. The five feathered and furry friends all started clucking and barking and fumping and chirping as loud as they could. <laughs> Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan heard the ruckus and came shouting across the prairie toward the den. 
Damn me a beeline for Slim Brody and chase that coyote lickety splickety far, far away. What's going on? asked Stan. I see a panther coming! cried Mary. How do you know this is so? asked Stan. But before Mary could open her beak to speak, everyone heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Yes, indeed. Why, that's not a stampede, he said, Stan. That's your stomach. But there's only one way to head off a rumbling and grumbling and a tumbling stomach. You need some grub. Cow so Cowboy Stan cooked up a fine supper for those critters, and that took care of Mary Blicky's stomach stampede. Lickety Splicky, yes indeed. The end.